Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is John, the RPG Lord. Today we're going to learn about how to create an exciting desert campaign for your playhouse and how to design a desert. First of all, you have to remember that not all deserts are created equal. We have various deserts all over the place. We have the American Southwest, we have the Sahara Desert, we have the Gobi Desert. All of them are distinctly different and have their own characteristics. So decide what kind of desert you want or if you want to combine them. Now, deserts are not just sand. There's not one dune after the others. Some places of the desert are like that, but that is not all of it. You have canyons, you have mountains, you have crevices, you have salt fields. All of these are part of it. There's places with water, oasis. All of this can be part and should be part of a very desert campaign to create this type of a biotope. Now, of course, there's some problems you have to deal with when you're traveling through the desert. Number one is the extreme temperatures. Desert temperatures, for instance, in the Middle East, range from about 40 degrees Celsius to about 60 plus degrees Celsius. Your breathing becomes hard at that time because the heat is so oppressive. So with all that heat comes things like dehydration, players running out of water, and sunstroke, sunburn, of course. All of these are things that can and should be included in your campaign. Where are they going to get the water from? How are they going to ration their water? That is important. Now, on the other hand, during the night, deserts, become freezing cold. The temperature can dip below freezing. So they have to keep cool during the day and warm during the night. What are they going to use for firewood? How are they going to keep themselves uh, warm? All of these are important things. Now, then comes navigation. If you have one sand dune after the other, navigation is your problem. Of course, there are some characters like a ranger who has the advantage in not getting lost in certain areas. But for the majority of your players, that's not going to be the case. So how are they going to navigate? Do they have to hire a guide who knows the area? Do they have magical means to navigate? Or are they going to navigate by the stars? All of these are things to consider when you can create your desert. As I have already mentioned before, water scarcity. They have to ration their water. And if they don't have enough water, where are they going to get new water from? Of course, there's magical means. But for, again, for majority of your players, that's not going to be an option. So they're going to have to find a place where they can find or purchase water and take it out of there. Now, should they come upon an oasis with water, this oasis might be inhabited by nomads or by other desert dwellers who might be fiercely territorial about their water. They might want to not share their water with them. So that could be a side quest there and there. How to convince these desert dwellers to give them some of their hard earned water. Of course, you have to find the oasis first. Now, what about hazards that happen? Besides the heat and cold at night, there's of course the sandstorms can come in the desert at any moment. Let's assume you have players who are in, engaged in a combat with low level kobolds, and let's assume they're like lakes or something. So a group of kobolds is not going to be a challenge to them. However, how about a sandstorm kicks up right at that moment, and the kobolds can see in the sandstorm, but the players cannot. You have just changed your combat and made a low-level fight that the players were easily going to make into a very difficult challenge. The same counts with terrain. Let's assume they are walking through a narrow canyon, and from the top the kobolds are throwing rocks at them. 
how are they going to overcome that? So use the terrain, use the sandstorms to your advantage. What about the salt fields? Now, salt fields, for the most part, are flat and very stable. So not a big problem. But there are some places where the salt is so thin that they can break in just like thin ice. And it can be swallowed by the salt. So that is something. And then, of course, there is quicksand. Quicksand can show up at every moment and swallow them up. Has swallowed them up. Very easy way to keep your players you know, engaged. The desert also has mirages. You can use mirages like we have in our real world. You can see in the distance where you see water. That could be something. Or, of course, you can do magical uh, mirages. You can have them like city in the distance, yet, but they can never reach it. So that would be a great quest hook right there. Which brings us to the next point, which is wildlife. What is out there? Let's talk about plants in the desert where you say, well, John, what kind of plants are in the desert? Well, if you have a desert like the American Southwest, then you have cacti and prairie grass and this kind of stuff. How about a cactus that not only draws water from the ground, but likes to substitute his meager water with some juicy adventurers that walk by. An animated cactus. Yes, those exist. And if not, make one. How about strange flowers that all of a sudden grow in the desert? I guarantee you players are going to be intrigued. And they find out that the flowers just grow on top of a sandworm. And he uses that to attract and lure creatures in so he can eat them. All of that can be done. Of course, then you have your obligatory vultures circling. All of that can be used. So yes, there's plenty of wildlife and desert creatures you can have the mummies that have been buried in the sand for centuries and are just waiting for adventurers to walk by maybe that combat can be your way they all of a sudden mummies come out of the sand and then players realize hey wait a minute there's a foundation underneath there's something buried here and so they start digging a little bit and find a lost tomb of some kind sprinkle your I lost things all throughout the desert so that the players can discover it. Lost cities, or maybe do a whole desert community. How about a city in the middle of the desert that has been lost and they have to find it? So tons and tons of ideas to make your desert adventure come to life and give your players a challenge. Anyway, that is all for today. I wish you a pleasant day. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, there's only one RPG, Lord. I see you in the next video.